MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game six of this year's fall classic between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on MLB Network. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch, let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now... Your 2017 Pittsburgh Pirates. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who'll get the ball here in this one. And with that, let's take a look at the Angels starting lineup. H, what's the key if they want to be crowned world champions here tonight? Well, Matt, they got a great pitcher on the mound. So to me, my philosophy changes when I know he's throwing. I only need a couple runs. So I get that leadoff guy on. I may move him up and drive in a run every time I get an opportunity. And then it just relaxes him on the mound as well, knowing he's got a couple runs early and let him do his thing. Francisco Liriano will look to keep their World Series hopes alive on the mound. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, last outing, he came off a complete game shutout. So, to me, it's going to be how deep can he go in the game? Does he have that stamina and that ability to back it up again? Because he worked hard last game. Well, let's take a look at the Buckles defense brought to you by Majestic. And, yes, they are moving all over the field. They love to shift heavily into the analytics, and they really move players around playing the percentages. You'll see that a lot in this game today. In now, Cole Calhoun. He'll do Leading battle with Francisco Liriano to get the I inning get underway. Cole Calhoun. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder has a beat on it. One away. So striding forward now, Mike Trout. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Mike Trout. is a moonshot folks a long home run it's a solo home run here for Mike Trout his third home run of this series as the Angels take a one to nothing lead cold of this booth so I know those players have to be cold out there but it doesn't matter to him he still has enough power to knock it out of the park to the opposite field no less now that is some man strength batting third Right fielder, number 79. A 
first pitch coming. Here it is. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matt, it seems like Drummond is pretty reasonable back there. He's consistent. You don't see many guys rubbernecking calls on him. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2 and 1. And the pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a looper to left. Lewis shading to his right. And that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Second inning coming up from PNC Park. Angels are out in front. One to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number 79. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Number 79. Into the windup and the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The windup and the 0 1. Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. Now here's the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Flipped out the other way towards short. Ibar throws to first to take care of him for the first out. Riding in once again, number 79. Third trip number to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Look out, and that'll give him a close shave. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. A 1-0 and delivery. And, ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, 1-1. One and one. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And there's ball two now.
Now a shot to center field. Back oh, goes for to Sandy. center fielder, but this ball has Too plenty behind pass. it, and it's a home run. Down for Sandy. Come on, Hurricane. Then he was open. Take the bow, Andy. Two run shot to straightaway center, his seventh of this series, and it gives the Pirates a two to one lead. was an absolute tape measure blast. Probably one of the farthest home runs you'll see all season, and as show track tells us, it was projected at exactly 450 feet. That's one that'll make the highlight shows later on for sure. Ready to take his hacks again. Number 79, number 79. As he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. First delivery to him on the way. A high fastball is in there. Five runs, five hits. And no errors so far for the Pirates. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2 really busting him in on this at bat right there first two pitches inside for strikes and I don't see him changing his pattern foul toward the third base dugout but this will get back into the seats out of play well I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone just caught too much of the plate right there fortunately he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats got him to chase out of the zone that time number 79 goes down for out number two in the bottom half boy that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels right all he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game with always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about and they definitely did that right here coming through with a big win at home score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And fellas, the outing turned in by the man you see there certainly can't go unrecognized. Francisco Liriano can't ask for much more he's our top player of the game yeah not the longest outing you'll ever see six innings but he definitely was a factor in the game did a good job while he was out there and he gets the W because of it tonight's game comes to an end five to one the final score the Pirates even the series at three and force a World Series game seven Andrew Heaney Pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody.
Here now is our final line score tonight for the victorious Pirates. Five runs on five hits. No errors. They left four men on base. For the Angels, one run, four hits, one error. They left 12 men on base. The winning pitcher is Francisco Liriano. The loss goes to Andrew Heaney. Time of the ball game, two hours and 46 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at PNC Park, 38,365. The Pirates thank you for attending tonight's game and remind you to please drive home safely.